Now, first of all, why is it important for you to actually pay attention to the designs? Because design adds value and identity to your product. On top of that, it can create a consistent customer experience because we talked about customer experience is the reason why your customers will be buying from you. Just the reason, just like the reason why I spend the time and effort into making these slides beautiful, making sure that all the templates and everything is consistent because it adds value. Because when you're going through the course and you're going through something aesthetically pleasing, it adds to that experience and that touch. Same thing with your food concept. We want to be able to do that for all the items that you are serving. And that's the reason why it's super important. Now, what is your design uh, concept. You need a unique design to match your unique concept. Use this design that we're going to be creating across all the platforms and products that you're going to be using. Now, the three concept design phases. So understand this from a high level and then the next few lessons, we're going to dive into depth on what are the different assets that you may need. First of all, proof of concept. A lot of people spend a lot of time and effort into perfecting their packaging right from the get-go. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong, but I do think that going with a minimal viable product is the best way to go because there's going to be a lot of tweaks you're going to be making. There's going to be a lot of versions you're going to be making. So if you spend a lot of your time dealing with the packaging and later on to realize that you're shifting and you're pivoting, then it really defeats the purpose, which is the reason why right from the get go, we are going to be testing our concept design quickly and cost effectively. So printing out stickers and labels to add to that element, just so then that way it's a temporary fix would be a very good idea. And and that's exactly what we did with our case study Bulbasaur. So if you're still not aware of what Bulbasaur is, it's basically a DIY bubble tea kit that you can make at home um, that we created as a case study. So then that way we can share with you everything that we create and walk with you along the whole process. So after the fact that you have done your proof of concept, it's time to review and revise. If you're not gaining traction, if your product is not doing well, then we need to make sure that we fix it. Get the feedback and make changes. Is it because of the customer experience? Is it because of the quality of the product that you're serving? Is it because you're lacking marketing? Or is it because you didn't price it right enough? And all these items and these components, we go over in the previous and later lessons as well. So definitely go through this whole lesson and this whole module. Key thing to notice right here is that design is not, okay, I repeat, not going to be a reason why your food concept doesn't work. So if you're thinking and if you're not gaining any traction, you're stressed out and you're like, you know what, no one's buying your stuff, do not think that it is the lack of con a design because it doesn't matter what your design is, it's only an elevation to what you have to offer your customers. So never ever, blame your design. It must be one of these four or other different components that comes into play. So after the fact that we have finalized, we are gaining traction, we're selling on a daily basis. That's a very good sign. What are we going to do now? Now we can finalize and invest in custom packaging, custom designs for each element. And as you can see here, this box looks beautiful. Yet one of these boxes might cost quite a bit to make and you might need to make 10,000 units of these guys. So you're going to be sitting on a lot of dead inventory if you prove that this is not the product of your finalized one, right? So once you have a proven food concept, then you invest in uh, money and for customer packaging like this. Now, next step is to identify what you want to design and what you need to design is it your physical product that you need to design or is it your packaging or is it your website? Review the list of each of the touch points for, from module 2.1 for ideas of items that you need to design. So depending on what you have to offer, you might be designing thank you cards, Instagram images, uh, business cards, recipe books, and menus, and et cetera, and et cetera. So I can't give you a full list, mainly because every business and every food concept might be a little bit different, um, but these are just the general gist of items that you may want to design. Now, as an example, this is the Bulbasaur uh, case study that we created just to showcase to you. This is a box that we bought off the shelf, and this is only a sticker that we printed and slapped on it to add a little bit more of our branding. Same with these pouches. We bought these pouches, um, and these are off the shelf on Amazon, and we basically just printed more stickers to slap it on um, to really give that feeling of a branded 
packaging and food concept. So now it is your turn. Now it is your turn to list out the design elements from each of the touch points that you want to design, lay them all out. And the next lesson, we're going to cover how you're going to find designers to help you design these assets. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.